my first guest, I never have enough time, the time that I want in my heart to spend talking to her. But here's the topic on the table. Whether you're a new parent, a new Nana, or entering any sort of new chapter in life, my first guest this morning wrote this song for you. I'm gonna open the door and see what's possible. Might be afraid. I'm gonna be brave. I'll reach for the sky and then go beyond my limits. I wanna see who I'm meant to be. I'm discovering me. What a, what a great way to start our morning. Singer and songwriter Hillary Weeks didn't just write the song, but she also created a companion guided workbook for soul searching women. This workbook will inspire and motivate you to rediscover and redefine your purpose. Hillary Weeks joining me in studio to share how you can begin to rediscover that purpose today. It is so lovely to see you. Lovely is the word I would use again and again. You're just lovely. It's so wonderful always. When Thank you. Paths cross and here we are today. Right back at you. Here we are today. Rediscovering your purpose. I am smitten with the project in part because you put a beautiful song to go with it, but the workbook is so thought provoking, Hillary, and it's really is a smart exercise. I'm wondering what set you down this path. Were you in that place of life where you were turning over a new chapter, so to speak? Well, I am because I just became a grandma. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm about to become an empty nester. My husband and I are. And, you know, as I've talked with women when I was in my 20s, 30s, 40s, now my 50s, mm -hmm. that seems to be a common question is, what is my purpose? What should I be doing? Life sometimes determines our purpose for us if we're working, taking care of our families, serving in our communities, that sometimes just naturally defines what we're to be doing. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes life circumstances can change and we get to ask the question, what should I be doing? What do I want to be doing? And some of us naturally are able to discover what that is and some of us need a little help. And so that's what this book is for. It's such a crucial question though, purpose. It's not just about filling your days or filling your calendar with stuff to do. Like purpose yeah. is part of the reason that we're here, it's what drives us, it's what moves us, it's what, it's what God wants us to do if you're a faith-believing person. Um, I mentioned the, the, the wisdom of this workbook and how involved it is. It's also very, I'll use the word lovely again, to look at. And the designer is someone you know and love. You collaborated on this project with your daughter. We did, my oldest daughter. I have four daughters and I tell people all the time, I raised my best friends. We just oh. love being together and creating this book with Kenzie, who's an artist, and she's also very wise and had beautiful insights, um, was just a great opportunity to spend time with her. I bet, to connect with one of those best friends, yeah. as you described it. Well, what we love about your song, Discovering Me, and the book Discovering Purpose, there's this sense of abundance, and we don't celebrate or, or use that word often, but you remind w women that no matter their age or stage, they have endless potential. I want to listen to a clip of the song and we'll talk on the other side. I know it's in there Just need to find the key And then open the lock To what my future holds Endless potential And so much to explore And I can't wait to follow this road Gonna pack up so as we talk about discovering potential in a new chapter of life, let's say nanahood, for example, why was the message of abundance so important to include? Well, the world is full of unlimited possibilities and each person is full of unlimited potential. And we just felt like that was important for women to know, especially as they're approaching an idea of exploring their, their purpose. They need to know that the sky's the limit. I think it's lovely, there's that word again, that you <laughs> identify that some women have purpose kind of in front of them to grab and take and move forward with, but other women need to work at it a little bit to uncover and figure it out. And you believe the first step in that process is to kind of take an inventory of your gifts and your strengths. Yeah, that's one of the first chapters in the book. Sometimes we're a little maybe hesitant or reluctant to explore our skills, our qualities, our gifts. But this chapter just opens that door wide open so that women are not shy about finding out who they are and what their talents are. And we even give them a chance to narrow it down to four words that describe who they are. What are your four words? 
My four words are disciple, mm. creator, persuader, and joy seeker. Now, those are my four words for right now. I love and those. that can adjust and change over yeah. time as our circumstances change. Joy seeker, but think how yeah. that would then define what you do each day. Exactly. The tasks you take on, what you say yes to, right? Even in busier phases, the, those parameters could be so helpful and, and help you be exactly. so discerning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's talk about the next section, which is defining success. And this communicates the idea that I get to define it. Like I get, oh. to, I get to put on paper or, or, or wrap my brain around what I think success means. Exactly. I think it's so important for us to determine what it means to us. Mm -hmm. We so quickly jump to the de definition of success being numbers, sales, followers, likes, and it doesn't have to be defined by that. It can be. Those can be good key indicators, but we also have the privilege, the right to define what success looks like to us. Mm. And when we have given it the definition, it makes it so much easier to achieve. How do you define success? And I'm really curious to hear the answer because you, you've checked the box of traditional success mm -hmm. in, in your music and in your work, but I know that there's more to it that drives you as, as a songwriter, as a creator. Sure, I mean, I can be tempted to fall into looking at the number of likes or comments on social media and that kind of thing, but what it comes down to for me that really helps me to feel like I'm being successful uh -huh. is doing it for the right reasons and always directing people to feel God's love. Mm -hmm. Everything that I put out there that involves my name or my heart, it needs to direct people to feel God's love and to help them to know who they are. I love that definition. And don't you feel or have you found, I should ask, that you, you have to do a self-check regularly. Like, am oh, I in sure. line with this purpose? Am I in line with this definition of success? Sure. You remind women through your music and in this workbook as well that obstacles will come, like challenges will hit no matter how divi divine or how inspired right. your purpose is. Right, even when we're doing something that's meaningful, that we know we are supposed to do, it's important. Um, that doesn't mean it's gonna be problem free. We're gonna run into barriers. And so we give them an opportunity to define what potential barriers there could be and how to pre-work through them. How could they potentially overcome them? Because when we run into those obstacles, we don't want to just give up or take it as a sign that we're not supposed to be doing this. That's not the case at all. We just need to be pre prepared to deal with it and to know they're gonna come, mm -hmm. yeah. And through all of the, these ideas that you've shared today, I sense a flexibility. Like you've gotta bend with life and, and be flexible and, and, and pivot, be light on your feet, so to speak, as these things do hit you. And the book allows for that too. It's not a, a rigid, strict course you have to follow. You can weave through that book any way you want and skip a chapter, do a chapter, whatever applies to you. It's just a beautiful guide for anyone who wants to discover their purpose. It's a good word. It's a good word for it. It really was a guidebook. I found the prompts to be inspiring and so thought provoking. Where can we where can we find the workbook? It's available at hillaryweeks.com. Well, congratulations to you and your daughter. Thank Send you. our compliments to her as well. We'll Thank link you. you to Hillary's website from our website for this guidebook. Really and in navigating new chapters in life. We love you, Hillary Weeks. Thank you so much.